going to believe what I just heard Suge Knight say from behind the wall. I finally got an opportunity to finish the video. Suge Knight uh, uh, last week was on a million dollars worth of game featuring uh, Gilly the Kid and Rollo 26-7. Now, Suge Knight is behind the walls in prison serving a 28-year sentence, and they got him on the phone. And one of the things that he said, it, it was an hour video. It took a couple of days for me to finish it. But one part of the million dollars worth of game that I caught, what Suge Knight said, is a trend. Now, Suge Knight said what they need to do. And he's talking about WAC 100. He's talking about the rap industry. He's talking about the culture responding to all the deaths of Slim 400, uh, uh, Draco the Ruler, to name a few. Now, Suge Knight said, big bag Suge Knight. Damu Suge Knight. Bomb to Suge Knight, the notorious death roll record Suge Knight said from behind the prison walls is that what they need to do today is to figure out a way to get along. Yes, that's right. Suge Knight said that. So think about it. It's either death or jail, death or jail. Either you're going to die or you're going to go to prison. And when you go to prison, you're going to change your mind. So we don't want you to die. So let's change your mind right now so we don't have to continue living the way that we're living. So don't die. Don't go to prison. That's your only option. Death or jail. That game, that life is what it's all about. So it's time for us to change the trajectory of the culture because one of the, the notorious uh, members of the Crips who created the Crips, Tookie Williams, was behind bars. And he started writing children's books, trying to get to, uh, to the youngsters and let them know that this is a path that they should not go on and that he is, is sad and upset that it actually became what it became. You know, they use him as a catalyst to actually to strive to destroy the culture because it's genocidal. We're losing the best ones and we can't continue to do this anymore. So now that we got uh, Tookie Williams on record of trying to change the, tra uh, the tra trajectory of the community. And now Suge Knight, who's serving a 28 year sentence, said that, you know, some Rodney King said we need to just find a way to get along. And he also spoke about you know, the top 10 or top five rappers putting their uh, funds together and actually purchasing a football team, purchasing a baseball team, purchasing a basketball team and not having to ask. And he gave a million dollars worth of game to you entrepreneurs in terms of controlling your masters, in terms of, you know, getting all your money and not selling it to the record labels or letting the record labels have them and then buy them back because you might not never get into a situation where you're buying it back. And I'm going to close out with this. I seen Snoop Dogg talk about his music and he don't get a dime from his music from back in the day with Death Row unless he performed. So check out a million dollars worth of game podcast. You know, they spitting that ism, you know, something that can actually help the culture. So we got to stop the killing. We got to stop the prison industrial complex. We can and we will. So with that being said, Death or jail, make the choice. Either you're going to die or you're going to change your mind behind bars. And when you change your mind behind bars, it just might be too late.